Hello, my friends. I want to show you a couple upgrades that I did to my tilapia heating system. I had a few problems uh, and a few field changes that remedied these problems. Let me show you what I did. First of all, this is the pump that I've been using. This is already the third pump. The first two uh, developed leaks, uh, and the one of them, um, the motor burned up. The problem with this pump is the motor shaft extends in to the pump housing and uh, onto the impeller blade. The leaking occurred where the shaft goes through the housing. Uh, the pumps were running pretty constant to maintain the temperature. Um, this pump, uh, it's a 12 volt pump and it supplies 260 gallons per hour. It also is a 300 watt pump. This is larger than the first two that I bought. The uh, current rating at 12 volts would be about 25 amps for this pump. The smaller pumps still were physically this size, but they only drew uh, 10 amps. Uh, the problem I had with, that, with the 10 amp and this one, the 25 amp, is the high current draw. Uh, my power supply uh, was not handling the load and it kept blowing the rectifiers. So what I did to improve the power supply is, I'll show you, I mounted the, uh, I mounted the uh, rectifiers on an aluminum heat sink which you can see right there in the middle. Um, that's a quarter inch aluminum plate, four rectifiers are mounted on top of that. Uh, operating at that 25 amp, those are 12 amp diodes. So uh, with the heat sink, it was pushing the limit. They were gonna eventually go out. And uh, so to eliminate that problem, I decided on a smaller pump that was not going to leak. Okay, right here I can show you the pump. Uh, this is the pump right here. This is also a 12 volt pump. Uh, size wise, uh, comparing to the other pump, right here, quite a bit of difference. Right there. Uh, this smaller pump also is a 12 volt pump. Camera's on my tripod. 12 volt pump. Um, it uh, draws 700 milliamp. So uh, that's around 30 times less current. This could be used to be driven from a solar panel. Uh, the flow rate is uh, about 700 liters per hour, which is much smaller, but the flow rate can be small going through that uh, heating coil. Uh, you don't have to have a, fl a high flow rate going through that heating coil. Um, the uh, system, since I made the change, is working very well. Uh, the temperature is maintaining you can't hear this pump running. The way you can tell it's running is feel the fittings, see if they're warm. You feel a little bit of vibration if it's on. But what I did was I installed the uh, LED, and when that's lit, that means the pump is on. Uh, the temperature is being maintained at 82 degrees, and even at minus 30 degrees outside, it doesn't make any difference. It keeps the maintenance right there. And like right now, it's not running. Temperature is at 82, and it's been working flawlessly. So that's a good change right there. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.